Hey, 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 let's do it. Let's do another math rock progression, shall we? So this one... Kind of cool, we have another minor shape going on. Uh, B minor, we have B, F sharp, so 1, 5. We have the 3, which is the D. And then we have the 4. So that could be the 11 as well. We have the 7, the A. And then we have a C sharp right here, which is the 9. So we have a full B minor 11 chord here. Super sweet. Very similar to one of the other progressions we did, where it was also a B minor 11. However, we didn't have the 9, the C sharp. So this is another cool idea that we're building upon here. Uh, so let's take a look here. What we're looking at for this one is going to be... So starting with just a bass and melody here, that's going to be the F sharp right there, so the 5. And then I'm sliding from 2nd fret to 4th fret on the 3rd string. So it's going to be the, the octave and then the second, the G-sharp right there. And then pulling off to the seven of that F-sharp chord right there, if we're thinking uh, F-sharp minor. All right. You can do a thumb slap right here. Then we have another bass and melody thing going on here. I'm gonna hit the D this time in the bass. That's the third fret, sixth string. That's the three chord, uh, the major three. And then I'm pulling off, well, hammering on and pulling off, doing a series of legato here. Two, four, two, open, second string. That's gonna be, if you think of it in relation to, <coughs> if you think of it in relation to this D chord right here, we have six, seven, B, C sharp, and then A. Five, six, seven, six, five. So, another thumb slap. And then you could even hit the open third string with this one as well. Which is the two. Then we have... We're going to our E shape now. Which is going to be E major. So this is going to be our, our five chord. Sorry, this will be a uh, four chord, <laughs> major four chord. I'm gonna hit the, the A in the harmonic, and then B, which is the five of that chord. In the key of B, this is gonna be seven, one, three, uh, two. That's gonna be seventh fret, seventh fret, 4th string, 3rd string, 12th fret is going to play 1st string, A, B, C sharp. Thumb slap, so, there we have, I'm going to do a B minor chord right here, I'm going to play 6th and 4th string open, so that's the 1 and the 3. And this is going to be F sharp right here. So that's the full B minor chord. But I'm sliding up from the E. Pulling back off to the E. So 3 to 5. Pulling off to 3. Uh, fret wise on the first string. Uh, hammering on to the 5th fret of the 2nd string. Which is also a D. That's a 3 in that B minor chord. Then, I'm going to pull off to open first string. As I do this, I'm going to create an upper harmonic. Which is a third right there. Okay. Pretty neat, huh? And that's an artificial harmonic. Well, it's natural, in which I'm placing my first finger gently over the 12th fret and using my thumb to pluck the third string. Really cool harmonic right there. Uh, nice harmony. From the beginning.
now. All right, what's going on here? We have, first of all, that's gonna be our F sharp in the bass. And then I'm gonna do some thirds right here, double stops. Sliding from fourth to fifth fret, third string, second, and then hammering on. See the finger placement here, first finger, and then hammering on to second finger. Second, fourth fret, second string. And then pulling off. So that's gonna be with an F sharp in the bass, that's going to be the two, and then that's the four, and then we have the minor, the F sharp minor chord right here. Five, three, one, three, five. So think of it like it's sliding into an F sharp minor chord, and then pulling off. We have open, second and uh, open, second and third string. So that's the one, the three, and then that's gonna be the seven right there. So that's an F sharp minor seven chord. Little shell voicing. We're gonna do some harmonics, seventh fret. Create that nice chord right there. I'm really hitting the bottom four strings. So we have an A, a B, we have an E, and then we have G sharp. Really pretty. Then we're gonna create some triads right here on the top four strings. Major, it's gonna be uh, E major. And then I'm going to do a harmonic slap across the 12th fret. And then I'm going to hammer on to D major right here. Barring the 5th fret, 2nd fret, and the 5th uh, fret, and then 6th fret, 4th string. And then we're going to take that same shape to the 3rd fret, the D major. I'm going to tap, do a power chord, a B power chord, that's going to be 9th fret, fourth and second string. So we have and then I'm going to hammer on to the second fret now. Power chord. Uh, C sharp power chord. Sliding down to A power chord, right? Almost like that polychord feel. It's really neat. So All right, what's going on here? So if I'm thinking from D being my, my root, D major, and then I'm throwing on the B, which is the six, and then this is the F sharp, which is the three. So I'm really just playing a D major, six, okay? And then what's, what's this right here? So C sharp, one five, and that's going to be the six as well, and then that's the three right there. So that's the same shape right there. Another six chord right there, but this is going to be a C sharp minor six. Cool, interesting concept here in which I'm using spread voicing. So F sharp and then A. So the one and the three. Fifth and second string harmonics, 12th fret. And then take that same one, three, 10th fret, 11th fret now. And that becomes E major, third. And then I'm going to create that melody right there, 14th fret, 
fourth string. So it carries that, that three, one for the E major chord. Gonna take that shape down to D now. D major three, F sharp. And then slide down if you can to the C sharp, the 11th fret of the fourth string. Really cool chord right there. So you have the one, five, seven, C sharp right there. From the beginning. Next up. So repeat, first theme, and then. All right, what's going on here? Cool chords here. I'm gonna start with. So it's gonna be the D, and that's gonna be So I'm going to do a D right here, and that's going to be a G sharp. So that's a sharp four right there. I'm going to tap the one and the three for the G sharp chord now. Okay? So I'm foreshadowing it almost. Then I'm going to create a power chord, E, A, and that's going to go slide up to F sharp, B, as I slide this major shape to A major shape, sorry, this G sharp minor to A major, so, alright? And then if you do some math here, math rock intended, and then if you do the math here, you'll see that what I have going on here is actually a 6-9 chord. I have the G sharp, the minor third, I have E right here, which is the 6, and then this is going to be your flat 9. And then sliding it up, we have A, C sharp, 1, 3, that's going to be F sharp, which is the 6, and then B is the 9. Really cool right there. So some 6-9 chords. Be fun to throw that in right there. So I, I really like that one. And then I finish by walking down right here. F sharp minor. E major. D major. So it's like five, four, three chord. And we go back to the main theme. There you are. 